Um, the next thing I wanted to, to talk about, um, I'm not even sure, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the majority of the board is in the know here, but Minerva has put on display um, their stormwater management, their MS4 uh, um, document. And um, that might have even occurred before some of these board members were on when the, the initial talk started. I think you're correct, yes. Um, but the district's liability as presented at that one meeting, and I, I confirmed this with uh, Mr. Shaw and Mr. Short, if this plan were to go three, through, is $73,000 annually. Um, and that's a fee, a tax, however you look at it, that's, that's money that the district has to pay Monroeville um, each and every year during this plan. So Among that, other entities around the river. Correct. So I, I just want the public to be aware that you know this isn't something that's just affecting you. It's also affecting your church, your school, uh, the municipality itself. Um, so everyone is, is responsible for paying this fee. Unfortunately for us, we, right, the only way we receive revenue is through taxes. Um, so you know, that, that leaves us with the decision of you know, $73,000, do you cut a teacher or do you raise taxes? And that's, that's an unfortunate situation to be in. So I just wanted board members to be aware of that, um, and hopefully we'll hear more from the municipality. I know we haven't heard anything since that, that first meeting, um, but Gateway is you know, one of the largest. We're, we're mm -hmm. definitely one of the, the top 20. I believe we're one of the top five um, individuals that would be, or, or corporations that would be affected by this. So again, that's $73,000 that we would have to pay. Um, so I just want the public to be aware of that, the board to be aware of that. I know obviously Paul's been, been kind of planning for that moving forward. Um, that, that might be an additional expense we have to, to deal with. So hopefully we can yeah. reevaluate that with Monroeville, possibly call an intergovernmental meeting, um, and, and see if we can, can address that value. Okay. I want to say two years ago we received notification from the municipality of Monroeville. I contacted Mr. Shaw. also made some uh, phone calls to uh, the mayor, I believe, and uh, maybe Mr. Hugus. Uh, Paul attended the meeting yes. uh, uh, with Mr. another Brown. of a uh, number of other representatives from uh, the mall and the uh, yeah, yeah. hospitals, I believe, as well. Correct. And uh, we were kind of taken back by the amount. Yeah, it's a large number. I mean, the mall is yeah. paying over six figures. It's, it's not yeah. It's not good for business when they're already at 40% vacancy. So hopefully uh, we can address this with Monroeville. And you know, I, I know they were open to having that meeting um, first, but the, we've never heard of it since then. Um, so if we could possibly you know, do council-wide and a, a uh, school board-wide um, public meeting, I think that might be a, a good way to address it and, and discuss it. Mm -hmm. 